I just dropped by to congratulate you on a perfect record. So far, you've been 100% wrong about me. I've got to hand it to you. I'll bet it's not easy to make a fool out of yourself all the time. Quote, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, Volume 1, Issue 13, The Menace of Mysterio. Reports of Spider-Man robbing various establishments at night hit the news, causing Peter to wonder if he's developed a multiple personality disorder and go on crime sprees in his sleep as Spider-Man. He decides to see a psychiatrist, however, changes his mind about getting help as Spider-Man believes that it may compromise his secret identity. Later, Peter goes to visit J. Jonah Jameson for a loan so his Aunt May can make her mortgage payment on time. While there, he snaps at Betty when she asks him why he hasn't taken any pictures recently. Jameson rejects his request and tells him to go out and take more pictures. When Peter tries to find crimes to photograph as Spider-Man, he only succeeds in getting an angry mob after him. Later at school, Liz Allen tries to impress people with her new hairstyle and she snaps snubs Flash Thompson when he comments that her new look is so beautiful that he didn't recognize her. Meanwhile, a new costume being named Mysterio appears at the Daily Bugle and tells Jameson that he's a crime fighter and he will bring Spider-Man to justice. He vanishes in a puff of smoke and leaves a note for Jameson telling him to publish a challenge to Spider-Man to meet him on the Brooklyn Bridge. I've got to move cautiously in case it's a trap, but how can it be? There's no one in sight. And then suddenly, unexpectedly, a figure appears. I am Mysterio. I am the one who will single-handedly destroy Spider-Man. It wasn't a gag, but if that costume clown thinks I'm sitting duck, he's got another thing coming. I don't know what your game is, Mysterio, but hey, overconfident fool, my power is greater than yours. See how easily I can avoid your attack while springing behind you and launching one of my own? Ow. But having the strength and agility of an invertebrate for whom he has named himself Spider-Man quickly recovers and then, what's wrong, Mysterio? I don't hear you bragging now. How does he keep his balance that way without falling? I'll bet his shoes are magnetized. Well, I'll just grab him and... Holy cow, he dodged me again. Did you think you could beat Mysterio with one measly blow? That's what I get for pulling my punch because I want to take him alive. Well, if I wallop him, can't beat... Let's see what a web can do. I told you, my power was great and now watch me prove it. I don't get it. At one gesture, he seems to be stopping my web in mid-air. The web is dissolving, vaporizing, as though it's been sprayed with a fine chemical mist too small for my eyes to see. Too bad, Spider-Man. Your puny little bag of tricks is almost exhausted, but there's no limit to my powers. See how easily I can elude you any time I desire. That's his first big mistake. He can't lose himself in a cloud of smoke. My spider sense will lead me right to him. But once inside the thick, billowy mist, this never happened to me before. My spider sense isn't working. It's as though something is interfering with it. Jamming. Can't see him, nor can I sense him, but I mustn't give up. I'll swing wildly. Maybe I'll be lucky. But Spider-Man luck seems to be running true to its usual form. All bad. Ugh. This is a situation. This is. I can't see him, but he sure can see me. He got to be near me somewhere. I'll keep swinging. He planned every detail of the fight, even finding a way to jam my spider scent. Ugh. I got to do something. He's making me helpless punching bag out of me. My spider strength enables me to resist blows that would knock out a normal man, but I'm still not invulnerable. Besides, it looks as though Mysterio does have superpowers, which are great as my own. The they, they longer I stay here, the more punishment I'll take. Only one thing to do, and this is it. Then Spider-Man hits the water below. The dramatic figure of Mysterio appears once again through the billowing mist. I've won. If Spider-Man couldn't defeat me then, nobody can. Now Mysterio is supreme. The next day, Mysterio is heralded as a hero, and later when he appears at the day Daily Bugle for a photo opportunity with Jameson, Peter tags him with a spider tracer. Spider-Man tracks Mysterio to his base and Mysterio reveals that he is a special effects artist who has decided to turn his skills to crime. He reproduced Spider-Man's ability artificially in order to frame him for the crimes. Spider-Man reveals to Mysterio that he recorded the whole confession, but in a split second, Spider-Man flips backwards out of the spreading mist. Now, this time Mysterio remembers one thing. Your power is artificial, but mine is natural, and I'll bet 
better my natural spider powers anytime. I've got to circle around him to find him within the mist. Have to keep moving fast. Can't lose the advantage. He's not here or here, but he's got to be nearby. If I keep swinging, then sooner or later, I'll, aha, I was right. There he is. Wham. Then as Mysterio goes sliding along the floor into the next door studio. Okay, Quint on the set. Let's roll him. Uh, what? What? What's that? Get that guy out of here. He's in the wrong movie. Gangway, boys. I know I'm not a member of the actor's equity, but I don't have time to get a union card right now. I've got a little job to finish first. You won't escape me with that smoke cloud again. My web will fall over you like a net trapping you. Fool, I'm prepared for anything that you do. I'll simply dissolve your web with my chemical spray and oof. Thanks, fell. I hope you do that to give me a chance to wallop you. You forgot I used to be a move movie stuntman. I know how to roll with a punch so as not to be hurt. There's not a spring built that'll save you from me, Mysterio. No, you can't stop me. You can't. I've waited too long, planned too well. I can't be thwarted away. Rolling with the punch isn't going to help you now, Mysterio. Didn't expect me to land upright due to my stuntman training, did you? Nope. I'm overwhelmed. I don't see how little untalented me will ever defeat a genius like you. Sarcasm won't help you now. I still know tricks you don't even suspect, like the tossing an enemy over my back through a sudden move. And now that you're off balance, I'll huh. Where'd he go? Up here. I know a trick or two myself. You picked on the wrong guy when you tried to frame me, Mysterio. You should have found some easy victim like the Human Torch, for instance. Don't stand there. Somebody help Mysterio. Spider-Man's turned bad. So you help Mysterio out. I'm getting out of here while I still can. The police. I'll call the police. Sure, you do that little thing. You haven't won yet, Spider-Man. I beat you once before and I'll do it again. Using your little smoke routine again, eh? I'll say one thing for you, Mysterio. You never learn. You concealing smoke screen won't help you while I can use my spider sense and you can't stop me from using it if it smashed this jammer like this. And now I'll do you the best favor of all. I'll finish this off quickly so that you won't get too bored. I mustn't forget to take my automatic camera which I hung on a piece of webbing up here to catch all the action. I'll fasten it securely to my belt container. Again, it's like money in the bank to me. And now one last plunge into Mysterio's cloud of mist and I'll wrap this up for good. With Mysterio turned over to police, Jamie and realize that he's been made a fool of again. However, when he finds that Parker has brought him pictures of Spider-Man's fight with Mysterio, his mood changes. Later, Spider-Man pays another visit to Jameson. He strings Jameson up from his office ceiling and mocks him for once again making a fool out of himself with his anti-Spider-Man press. Notes. Mysterio. Quentin Beck. First appearance as Mysterio. Impersonate Spider-Man Peter Parker. Certain details in the story should be considered topical references per the sliding scale of Earth 616, particularly any depictions of technology, vehicles, and equipment that were commonplace in the 60s. Specifically the kind of camera that Peter uses, the car that Mysterio drives in, and how his various illusions work as well as the filmmaking equipment displayed in the movie studio. Mysterio singles out Spider-Man because unknown to the war Corolla, he was indirectly involved with his getting fired from special effects job in Amazing Spider-Man Volume 3, 1.1 and later in Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man 51 reveals that Beck was one of the aliens that Spider-Man encountered in Amazing Spider-Man number 2. Betty Brant recounts how Spider-Man saved her life in Spider-Man 11. Next issue, Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1, Issue 14, The Grotesque Adventure of the Green Goblin.